What's up guys, Coach Madden, YouGoProBaseball.com, here again with Coach Marlowe, Light Tower Baseball, and he's going to talk about today hitting the high pitch, or, or what were you call, what'd you call it? Covering high. Covering high. I've never, I've never heard that terminology. Covering high. So, me playing in high school and playing in college, and also pitching in high school and pitching in college, I've always said the difference between a high school hitter and a college hitter is the college hitter hits the mistake pitch. He punishes the mistake pitch and the ability to cover high. So we're going to talk about how to cover high and hit the mistake pitch. All right, so the high pitch. Now, when I mean the high pitch, I'm not talking about anything above the hands. I'm talking about the mistake pitch. Waistline below the hands. That's the ball that should be hit out. The, the fastball up in the zone, the hanging curve ball. Okay. Once again, the college hitter punishes that ball. The high school hitter, I feel, swings through it or lets it go. Here's how to cover that pitch. So, when we attack this baseball, what I try to teach or what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get behind the ball and I'm trying to stay through the path of the ball after contact also. Okay, I've got to have a good swing path and I want to stay through the baseball and through the path of the ball before and after contact. Okay, so when you're doing T work, you could have somebody watch you. Okay, if you're dropping below the path of the ball and swinging up, you have a small chance to hit that ball solid. So when we're hitting the high pitch or the mistake pitch, that I call it. Okay? We're trying to get the bat behind the path of the ball and stay through the path of the ball even after contact. That's going to give me a good swing where I can still elevate that ball and not hit it down in the dirt. As a pitcher, that's what I, you know, really what I'm trying to do is to get you to hit the ball on the ground. So for me, I always wanted to throw low in the zone with some sinking action. So obviously if I made a mistake and left it up, I hope that you're not taking advantage of it. But as your job as the hitter, is to try to do that. Right, right. So let's not get on top of that ball or teach get on top of the ball. Let's work get behind it and let's stay through the path of the ball on the high pitch. I actually want you to get on top of it. As right. a pitcher, I want right. you to. <laughs> Please. So let's not help them guys out at all. <laughs> With them guys. <laughs> so. All right, here we go. So when you're doing this drill, um, how many swings are you taking? Um, are you changing the height level of the tee from here to a little bit higher, or how, what are you trying to do? You, you can play with it a little bit. You know, once again, we don't want to chase pitches that are above our hands, above where, where we're loading, above our chest, okay? So we don't want to go too high where we're kind of creating this bad swing, this top hand heavy swing, this chopping action, okay? So a bad swing is going to look like this. Okay. See how the bat got under the ball and then get on top through the pitch, okay, which created this top spin ball because I'm hitting the top of it. And like I said earlier, we don't want to chop down on the ball and help the pitcher out and get him a ground ball. So let's try to get behind the ball, and more importantly, let's try to stay through the path of the ball even after contact. Now, let me ask you this. I talk a lot about body angle and, and creating access to swing around. Now, on a pitch that's a little bit higher, I, what I tell my guys is to come off that body angle just a little bit. We don't want to pull out this way. We don't want to come straight up, but we do want to, if that pitch is elevated a little bit, we want to come off of that body angle just a little bit to, to be able to get on plane with it. I think the axis helps us get on plane. For example, if the pitch is lower, we gotta go down and get it. We gotta create a deeper body angle. If it's a little bit higher, we're gonna be off of that body angle just a little bit to get us on plane. Does that make sense? Excellent point. Um, what I call it is spine angle. So what we're doing is we're adjusting our spine angle, but we're still staying on it. So if the pitch is up, we're not gonna swing in this crouch position and go like that. We're actually, like you said, we're actually gonna ride up a little bit and then keep our good spine angle and drive through the pitch. Just like on the low ball, the hips are gonna change our spine angle, but we're still gonna drive on that spine angle. So on the low pitch, I'm not gonna stay here and drop my hands and swing there. I've gotta adjust the spine angle by getting in my legs, which is gonna change it. Now, how often are you doing 
this uh, working on this high T uh, drill? How, how often do you do this low T drill as much? What are you doing? Me personally, I like to start with the low T. The low T drill forces me to use my legs. It forces me to get in my thighs, okay, and drive still against the firm front side, basically giving me ability to hold the ground or generate force through the ground. So if I can do that on the low T, then I can work it up the chain to the high T. But every time I do my T work or I set out to do a hitting se session, the high T drill should be done, the low T drill should be done, and also the regular T drill. Nice, so. and just basically mixing up the height of the T, but also in and out is a good way to work yes. on the T. Um, also, I worked with Jose Lobotone, major league catcher for a while, and he was actually doing a drill, um, and I put it on my YouTube before, where we worked on hitting low pitches, but way out in front, and he did it for a specific reason, um, and it was to hit Uihara's uh, fork ball that he throws to him, and he actually hit one of the one of the fork balls out oh, wow. in game three of the of the playoffs. So just having that self-awareness of what you're trying to work on. You can get creative with your drills, but the main thing is that nothing comes easy. You gotta put in the work That's right. and, and get those swings in, right? No so, shortcuts. No, no shortcuts. shortcuts so. Don't forget to check out Coach Marlow. I'll leave his uh, link down below so you can check him out. Light Tower Baseball, check him on Facebook, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.